A grandmother and her eight-year-old granddaughter escaped the Blood Tribe wildfire on March 28th with pretty much just the clothes on their back and maybe one other thing. The thing I thought of grabbing was my Bible. It's a great big Bible, but I have all my, um, you know, like my kids' records in there, um, birth certificates and um, their baptism, communion, their marriages. <laughs> It was my niece that was grabbing, like, you know, little kids, like, want their toys, right? Just grabbing what she could and just to, in her panic, too, grabbing what she could. The Sunday afternoon fire was started by a nearby sweat lodge session. Crosschild, who is Brave Rock's daughter, says the church community was unfairly dismissed, even though they do not sweat. It's sad because I feel like everyone out here didn't get that fair chance with the media because right away um, there was the backlash from, you know, other people that um, were saying, well, yeah, they, about having the sweat again and because there was a fire from a sweat in the past. So like there was just a lot of backlash and I feel like it's not fair to these guys here, to my family, because they're not even a part of that. They don't sweat, they, they go to church, they have their own church here. Brave Rock had a hard time explaining this to her granddaughter. I couldn't answer her because I, I don't know what sweats are for. Even though I'm, I'm 67, my um, grandfather was, was involved with Sundance, but uh, I, I never understood it. Like, I, I didn't grow up with, you know, like, knowing sweats and, like, I don't understand. Crosschild and her mother have expressed an abundance of gratitude for the people that have stepped up to help in any way they can. Their houses were lost, so their house, or, or nobody's lives were lost as well. So we're just thankful for that and, um, you know, grateful. But now it's the rebuilding of, you know, the community and, and getting what they lost back. Um, like Foreign has a lot of losses too over there and I'm sure he wants to rebuild what he can. Um, my mom wants, you know, her shed back, so. A GoFundMe page has been set up for anyone wishing to help the community heal from the flames that have engulfed a big part of their lives. For Bridge City News, I'm Loris Alexander.